Do you want to create a powerful style and add that viral punch to all your edits? Well, get ready to unravel all the secrets as these motion graphic techniques will help you unlock that After Effects Pro Level Edge. Let's get started. Alrighty, this first viral technique has so many uses because it's all about creating lines that follow behind an object, which is great for showcasing progression in your story or for creating graphs. Firstly, you can select the handy pen tool here at the top with stroke enabled and no fill. And then you can start by drawing a long squiggly path that can be bigger than your composition, so go outside of it. And this does not have to be like perfect or anything, but when that's done, feel free to add like another object like a perfect circle with the ellipse tool. Uh, then you can go deep into your line path layer and select that word path next to the stopwatch and copy it. Then navigate to the position of your circle or any graphic that you may have and paste that data right there. And this will give you some keyframes and you may need to realign those position keyframes, but now you have a circle that will follow the line. Additionally, you may want to try adding the trim path property to your line shape layer and animate the start or end from 0 to 100%. You can then easily retime your keyframes and everything should look good until it goes off frame. And if this happens, you can create a null object, parent your line and circle graphic to it, and now keyframe the position of the null to give you the power to follow the animation like so. And by doing all this, this first technique gives you the ability to create these beautiful line animations. But real quick, for those of you that want this beautiful glow effect, you may want to add an adjustment layer and add the following effects. Noise, glow, and posterize. These settings are all optional, but I like something around 4 to 12% for noise and uncheck the color noise. And then try a glow radius of 150 plus and an intensity around 2 finally set the posterize to whatever fits your taste and don't forget to add a relatively dark background solid to your composition and that's how to quickly add some visual interest to all your scenes which should allow you to charge your clients double yeah and to justify charging your clients double be sure to get my 100 free templates and gain access to over 45,000 assets presets and transitions right here for after effects and premiere pro you can add countless seamless transitions to your edit throw in highly detailed templates and create amazing work and moments so be sure to check the description below and thank you for making this channel possible all right now back into the techniques and let's expand our business into motion paths so for this comp, we can create a bunch of circles and then expand them outside of our scene like it's nobody's business to build it out. I can then take a master graphic like you know the usual circle and then with the pen tool, we want to select tool creates mask and you'll do this if you're using a shape layer and roughly draw a path up through your scene. You know, this doesn't have to be perfect or hitting any specific mark. But similar to before, you can copy the mask path and paste it to the position. And of course, create a null object, parent all of your layers to it, and position keyframe it to fly through your scene. And you'll notice that the master object here may clip through objects or just completely miss them. But that's no problem as it's incredibly awesome to edit the motion path and fix it like it never happened before. Beautiful. You can also edit your shape to have, say, a gradient fill and easily change those colors under edit gradient. Also, for this, I added the glow effect directly to the circle and punched up the glow radius. For the adjustment layer effects, it's basically the same stuff, but the settings have been slightly varied. So again, the power of what you want to do is in your hands. All right, now I want to step into the world of cinematic motion graphics where the focus of your scene is drawn from light. For instance, we can draw out a white oval with say the ellipse tool that will determine where the light lands in our scene. Then with the pen tool, we can easily draw out a cone from the top of our scene like so, which will be our beam of light. Then with your shape layer, you can click tool creates mask once again, and then use the rectangle tool to draw this mask around the cone. Then be sure to feather the mask like crazy to fade in the light beam. Depending on your mask, you may need to set the mode to subtract, but that's okay. Now use the linear white transition effect and angle this to zero, and then keyframe the completion to have this light jump on. Be sure to feather this out as well. Then offset your circle or oval in time to animate this correctly. Beautiful. Now you have the option to add in some key graphics and I'm just gonna use this silhouette graphic which you may get for free in the project files. And then by using the puppet pen tool, you can add in some points and then try holding control on your keyboard and moving your mouse around to add some real time movement to your graphic. 
And for the adjustment layer effects, I just have the punch here at 1000 and adjusted the intensity by a touch to create this beam of light visual. This next graphic is all about creating interactive repeaters where clearly there's a master object interacting and updating another graphic, which is this ticker in this case that can be simply created with the pen tool as a straight line. And then under the taper settings, we can mess with the end length and ease to smooth it out. Furthermore, I want to add the time asterisk 100 expression to the rotation of this layer so that it will spin aimlessly into the void. So let's give our ticker some circle friends by creating a stroke only circle and then again adding the repeater to your circle shape layer. Now you can't just increase the number of copies and mess with the position to create you know, a circle of circles my friend. You need to set the X position to zero and set the rotation to an even number like 30 degrees and then increase or decrease the Y anchor point and then feel free to say boom after centering your circle of circles. Now to have one of these circles be completely filled out at you know one specific time, you wanna go ahead and create another circle that is completely filled out with no stroke and then place it in one of the hollowed out circles. And with that circle, you're gonna to wanna to use the pan behind tool to move the anchor point and the direct center of your composition of circles of circles. You know, I just like saying it. And then when that's all said and done, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and add a keyframe for rotation and then move forward until our ticker is pointing at another circle and add another keyframe and then move forward exactly one frame and then set that rotation to 30 degrees. And now we can add the loop out offset expression and this will continually rotate the circle for each ticker move. Just absolutely beautiful. Subscribe to be the best and always be creating.